Hi guys, I welcome you all to the another video of software testing by MKT. In this video, we are going to talk about what do you mean by system testing. Let's get started. I'm going to talk about the definition of system testing later. Before I'm going to make you guys understand when do we go for system test or in a testing when do we follow system testing or when we are testing any software after which phase of the testing we should go for system testing. Let's get started. Guys, you know any software when we are testing it, when test engineers are starting testing it, they directly don't go to do system testing. As I have already spoken in my previous videos, the first testing in any, in any software the test engineers do is, do is component testing in which they will make sure that each and every component of an application are working correctly fine or not. Once after the component testing is done, we will move towards doing integration testing in which they will make sure that integration between two modules or more than two modules is working perfectly fine or not. If you have not seen my component testing video, integration video, please check it out first then come to this video, link in the description. Let's get started with the system testing. So guys, when you start testing any software, test engineer directly don't go to do system testing. See. System testing is nothing but how customer is going to start using your software. As I have already spoken in component testing and integration testing, if you remember what is component testing and integration testing, the reason we do component testing and integration testing is to make sure that whatever software we have developed as a company, each and every component, each and every feature, each and every module is working perfectly fine or not. But customer is not going to do your component testing or integration testing. Customer has no clue what do you mean by component, what do you mean by integration. Customer, they are going to use the software by doing system testing. Guys, you see any application, you use any application, whichever application people use in this world, they people indirectly, they do system testing. Let's take example how. Guys, you take any application, let's talk about a Gmail. If you are a customer, if I mean, if I, I'm working in some company, I'm using Gmail for my own purpose, but I'm indirectly doing system testing. How? See guys, system testing is nothing but, it is an end-to-end -end testing in which the testing server is similar to the production server. That means, now what do you mean by testing server and production server? See, testing server is something which is deployed in our QA environment. Suppose I am work, suppose a company is there. This is company. And there is a company B, which is called as customer. This is the company who is making a software. This is the company who have requested for the software. So this is this will be my production this will be my QA for QA people test engineers wherever whichever company is developing the software QA environment will be there production server means which is deployed in the sub production so that customer can use it and run their business I hope it is understandable by you guys as I told System testing, it is an end-to-end -end testing where the testing server is similar to the production server. Now, what do you mean by testing server and what do you mean by production server? Guys, wherever the application is installed, let's talk about a company where they are developing a software and finally test engineers are going to test it. So, then there, there will be a server that is called as QA server or it is also called as QA environment where they test the software. So, before going the software in the customer place or in the production or before we are releasing the software to the customer, we have to do system testing which is nothing but testing the end-to-end -end testing in the QA environment which is similar to the production environment. When I say QA environment similar to the production environment, it means hardware should be similar, software should be similar. And whatever, whatever the data which we are using in our QA environment should be exactly the replica of the QA production environment. Now what do you mean by hardware should be similar? That means whatever the testing server we are using in which manufacturer 
of that server which we are using in the QA environment should be exactly same the manufacturer of the server which we are using in the production server and configuration should be exactly same what we are using in the QA environment as in the production environment. There are chances that number of CPU used, RAM, memory can vary but configuration has to be similar. This, this is what called as hardware should be similar as in the testing environment as the production environment and software should be similar. Whatever the QA environment server we are using that is testing server software that, that means OS should be similar, app server should be similar, web server should be similar whatever the database we are using in the testing environment should be similar as in the production environment and also the data should be similar as in the production environment let's take an example when I'm testing in the pro testing environment I am testing my application with 10,000 data should be similar oh, as in the production environment if production environment is having 10,000 data I want to have 10,000 data also in my testing environment then only I say my testing environment is similar to the production environment why I spoke about the testing environment is similar to the production environment is because before we give the software to the customer and after doing component testing and integration testing the next thing that testing engineers will do is called as system testing in which they perform and to and testing in the testing environment which is similar to the production environment I hope system testing is clear to you guys now the question arises what do you mean by end-to-end -end testing guys end-to-end -end testing is nothing but navigating through all the features and testing the end feature is working correctly or not that is called as my end-to-end -end testing suppose you are having module A module B, module C, module D, module Z navigating through all the modules and test whether the last module is working perfectly fine it is called as end-to-end -end testing guys end-to-end -end testing is nothing but how customer is using the application Let's take example of WhatsApp. The reason I'm taking the example of WhatsApp because you all will be familiar. Any people, why customer use WhatsApp? So what they will do? They will they will install the WhatsApp. They will upload their profile picture, and they will see the contact. They will send a message to someone, and then they, they will close it. This all scenario comes under system testing. As I said, it is an end-to-end -end testing, in which. Test engineer should navigate through all the modules and test whether it is working according to the requirement or not. That is called as end-to-end -end testing. It is nothing but how customer is going to use it. Same way, test engineers will test it. While doing system testing, test engineers will not worry about whether my component is working perfectly fine or not, whether my integration between the two modules is working fine or not. No. He will just keep in mind that he is doing system testing. Nothing but how customer is going to use the software. Let's take one more example. Let's take our Facebook example. You log into the Facebook with your credentials. You search any person whom you are trying to whom you are trying to search, and finally you click on his profile. You, you click on message. You type a message, and you log out of the application. That is nothing but system. Let's take one more example. You log into the Amazon website with a credential you search the product whichever you are looking for you selected it you wish listed it you added to the your cart and finally you bought it by doing all the payments and you close the app that is nothing but system testing you are indirectly testing end to end scenario whether it is working perfectly fine or not in system testing while doing system testing we have to make sure that we are not missing any particular modules we have to cover all the modules by adding it to some system scenario that means if my logout button is there i have to test even that system testing is one of the most important type of testing we do in the company before giving the software to the customer this is a type of testing by which qa ensure that software is working perfectly fine how customer gonna use it 
because customer is not going to use a com particular component he customer are not going to use a particular integration within the module but customer will use a software by how he want to use a software and that is nothing but a system testing you are testing the end to end scenario is perfectly working fine or not that is called as system testing i hope this video is clear to you guys if you have any question regarding to this video add it to the comment section i am going to answer all your doubt if you think this video was useful to you guys please like this video share this video with your needy friends and please subscribe to my channel and make sure that you press the bell icon to never miss any video in future from software testing by nkt